Guys, do not forget to hit that subscribe button for Rob Boxing Opinions. 12 times. <laughs> 12 times. 12 times randomly. So Anthony Joshua says, or he claims that he's been tested for, you know, performance enhancement drugs. 12 times. And he said these tests happen randomly. So I guess... You know when he, you know when he's in the gym training out of nowhere, some guy comes in, I don't know, with some type of uniform, and he maybe presents Anthony Joshua with a documentation saying that, okay, we're here to drug test you. So here's a cup. I want you to piss on in the cup, <laughs> right? And then he has to. I don't know. I guess they they make you piss in the cup or. They take your blood, but it clearly it's, it's something like that, right? And then they, they test you. For, so, we're going to know if Anthony Josh was on drugs or not after this fight, right? We're also going to know if, if, if uh, Alexander Povekian is on drugs or not after this fight. Because, you know, when it comes to Povekian, this is a guy that has history with uh, performing enhancement drugs in his system. I mean, two times, you know, what? Twice before Deontay, before he fought Deontay Wilder, he was caught with some type of drug in his system. And after he fought, I believe it was, who was it? I think it was Johan Duopas. Was it Johan Duopas or Marius Walk? It was, it was one of those guys. I remember it was one of those big, uh, big uh, U- European fighters. It was not that long ago. Maybe, well, maybe like two years ago. It was either Marius Walk or Johan Duopas. I remember after the fight, he got caught again with PD. So... You know, if I'm Alexander Povekian, I should not be injecting myself with no drugs or taking any, you know, drugs because, you know, any pills or whatever. Because you're going to get caught if, you, if you're getting tested 12 times. But, you know, this is nothing 12 times because if Joshua fights Deontay Wilder, oh boy, you know, Deontay Wilder is like the prima donna of drug testing when it comes to... uh his, his opponents in the heavyweight division. You cannot fight Deontay Wilder without getting drug tested. I mean, Deont- De- Deontay Wilder is kind of like the heavyweight version of Floyd Mayweather Jr. You remember when Floyd Mayweather Jr. was still fighting? He was always drug testing dudes. Like, you cannot fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. without getting tested 20 times, you know, prior to the fight because Mayweather would always demand his opponents to get tested because he didn't want, you know, them to obviously cheat. No, because this happened during the Manny Pacquiao era. Because if you guys remember, during the Manny Pacquiao era, when people were begging Mayweather and Pacquiao to fight, a lot of people were accusing Manny Pacquiao for taking drugs. Right? I remember a lot of people back then were making YouTube videos. You know, I was just a subscriber back then. I was a teenager, actually. You know, and I was looking at a lot of videos. Uh, a bunch of people were accusing the Pac-Man of taking steroids, you know. Because they thought it was odd that he could move up six weight divisions and still be powerful, still have his speed. No, I'm not saying he took drugs, but you know, they, they, I think it was reason for people to be a little suspect, suspicious of Pacquiao. But Mayweather started doing this drug testing because he was accusing Manny Pacquiao of, ster- of taking steroids himself. So he did this thing where every time you follow him, you would uh, he would ask these uh, his opponents to take. You know, to be drug tested, basically. So, he he knows that he's fighting a clean opponent. Wilder has been doing this now for for a couple of years now. Every time you fight Wilder, you get drug tested. So, you know, if Tyson Fury fights Wilder next, he will get drug tested. And you could trust and believe if Anthony Joshua fights Deontay Wilder, he will be drug tested. So, I, I that's why I don't want to hear this excuse. You know, some people accused Anthony Joshua of taking steroids. He hasn't popped dirty for steroids yet. I'm not going to make a video saying Anthony Joshua was on steroids because he hasn't been popped dirty. I don't know if he's on steroids. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. But I can't make a video saying he is on steroids if, if, there's, if there's no proof. There has to be proof. All right? So far, nothing's popped up. So, that like one thing I like about Joshua, though, is he's willing to take these, drip, these tests, right? He's willing to do these things because... It shows me he's not hiding anything, right? But again, you could, you know, Joshua, if Joshua thinks thinks this is, you know, obsessive, you know, 12 uh, random drug tests, trust me, he's probably going to get tested 30 times 
against Wilder because Wilder's like I said, he's the prima donna of of uh, drug testing in the heavyweight division. He wants everybody he fights to get drug tested. But again, if Joshua beats Deontay Wilder, please don't because you know when it comes to boxing fans, they never want to give a fighter credit for winning. So if Joshua were to beat Deontay Wilder, I see this coming from six miles away. I already see boxing fans saying he was on steroids. That's what they'll say. They'll accuse Anthony Joshua of being on steroids. They'll be like, he beat Wilder because he was on steroids. That's why I'm really happy that Joshua is the type of fighter that he he lets these you know the drug testers test him, right? Because you know some you can refuse that shit. You could be like, you ain't you ain't gonna test me, you know. But then that that would draw suspicion, right? People would be like. Why did you refuse to get drug tested? You know, that would be very suspicious. But Joshua seems to let the people drug test him. So, like I said, that's a good thing. Because if he beats Wilder, you could just shut that argument up. You could shut that argument up of the people accusing him of being on steroids. That's the only reason he beat Wilder. You could shut that up by saying, by showing him the facts that he was tested so many times leading up to that fight. And nothing popped up. So, clearly he wasn't on steroids, right? That's the good thing about these drug tests is you can't accuse a motherfucker of cheating, basically, if he beat the guy, right? If he's drug tested because you know that he was clean, right? You know he was clean in this fight. Um, like I said, uh, I feel bad for Povetkin, though, because, you know, Povetkin, I, I, know, I don't know how intelligent he is, but if he is intelligent, he would not be taking no drugs leading up to this fight because... That would jeopardize jeopardize the fight. That would also, because this is, I would imagine he would be receiving a big payday, right, against uh, Joshua. Remember, he was supposed to fight Wilder twice, and he didn't receive the paydays for Wilder twice because he was caught twice with steroids or something. Whatever he was, I think it was Mendonium. I already forgot, but it was something in his system, right? A banned substance, basically. And he didn't receive, he was he, he would have received like, I think, I don't know, $5 million purse or whatever. He didn't receive this purse because he never got to fight to fight Wilder. So I'm pretty sure if Pavecki is smart, he, he doesn't want to, and, and if he doesn't want to fuck up his money, you know, because again, I don't know how much he's getting paid, but I would imagine it's millions, then he, he wouldn't be taking no drugs because if he gets popped dirty, they'll probably cancel the fight. They'll be like, all right, we're not going to fight because you, you popped dirty, right? So, I mean, unless they catch the drugs in his system after the fight, you know, like they, like when he fought, I think it was Mary's uh, walk or, uh, you know, Johan Zulpaz and they caught it after he knocked it, no, it was against Johan Zulpaz because I remember he brutally knocked out Johan Zulpaz, then he was caught like a week later with drugs in the system, but that's not, that's not good because he knocked out Johan Zulpaz and he was on drugs, that's not, that's fucked up, I know fighters should be banned for doing shit like that, but Pavekin wasn't banned, I guess. But like I said, it would be really dumb for Povetkin if he took drugs and he's facing Joshua. Because this is that that'll fuck up his money, right? He you 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 have to pay fines for for getting caught with shit like this. You know, people sue you, right? Deontay Wilder's team sued. And I believe they won. They sued Povetkin and because he was caught with trying to cheat in their fight twice. So this these aren't like Games, people sue you, you know, you, they take money from you if you, you know, cheat and shit, like, you know, you, if you do illegal shit in boxing, basically, so, Povetkin paid the price, he had to pay out of his own pocket, I guess, to Wilder, I believe it was five million, something like that, I don't know, and Wilder didn't, didn't, didn't even have to fight him, right, Wilder received like five million dollars against Povetkin, and he never had to fight him, all because he won a, a, a court case, because he sued Povetkin, for attempting to cheat while he was going to fight him in Russia. And obviously that's illegal. So, and obviously, the, you know, Wilder's team won because, you know, it, there was proof that there was drugs in the Povetkin system. So they just showed, obviously, the judges this so, and he ended up winning. And they had a forfeit, five million, I believe, or four million to Wilder. So without Wilder even having to fight Povetkin. So like I said, these things... This ain't no jokes if you get caught with, you know, doing illegal shit. You got to pay fines. You get suspended from boxing. You know, just ask, uh, God, what's that guy's name? I always forget that guy's name. Whatever. The other dude who was on drugs. Uh, the dude, the people, they knocked out Alexander Povetkin in like 30 seconds. No, they knocked out, excuse me, David Price in like 30 seconds. But, 
yeah, the point is this. Uh, I feel bad for Pavekian because, you know, Pavekian, first of all, this is a horrible mismatch. I mean, this is a horrible um, style for Pavekian, Anthony Joshua's style. And Pavekian gasses out. Pavekian gasses out. This is why he takes drugs. If you notice, all the PEDs that Pavekian takes are all PEDs that give him energy. Every drugs he takes that he's taken in the past are basically energy boosters, right? They make him be able to have energy in the later rounds. The reason he does that he, he was taking those drugs is because Pavekian is a half uh, uh, ass fighter. He gasses out after five rounds. If you look at all his fights, after five rounds, he's always gassed out. He's breathing out of his mouth. He has no energy. Um, this is why he was taking the drugs because this helped him, right? He gave him, you know, more energy in the second half of fights. But he's gonna be in a whole lot of trouble because Anthony Joshua has good endurance. I've seen him go twelve rounds and still, you know, be strong, still be sharp. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm very confident that Anthony Joshua will knock out Alexander Povetkin because, trust me, if it's round six, seven, and Alexander Povetkin still there, Joshua is gonna be the fresher guy. And Alexander Povetkin is going to be huffing and puffing because he does not have his drugs in the system that's going to help him. And he's going to end up getting knocked out. Cold, brutal knockout. That's what I'm saying. I'm very confident in Joshua knocking him out. Anyway, that's, that's all I have to say. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Watch the way from Start to Prentice. Much appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And... Uh, much appreciated. I'm going to make as much videos as I possibly can today. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.